Hello, welcome back to Ben Swiss Live. Today I want to tell you a bit of a story, interesting story that uh, based on my experience using these AI tools. So this time I'm using my own face as training data. And then I send it to this service uh, by Astria at strmr.com. So it's very similar to Google uh, Dream Booth where you can upload your own selfie photos, maybe I think 10, 20 or 30 or 50 photos that, that that's cropped uh, like 512 by 512 uh, on your face or like different position body pose of yourself. And uh, also with different expressions and after a few hours or so, you're gonna get uh, your own model or checkpoint that you can store inside uh, stable diffusion tools and you can as the result you can have output similar to this so yeah this is the uh, I'll show you the model so this is the stable diffusion web UI if you manage to install it it's a uh, it's gonna take a bit of tweaking sometimes it's complaining but if you manage to install it uh, you are good uh, to go uh, you have enough knowledge and yeah anyway so this is the the checkpoints I don't share the check checkpoints at the moment but maybe in the future so basically this uh, okay uh, the way we can prompt anything is by using SKS uh, you know like you can type in like SKS man once you have your model, so this is after 30 minutes or actually it's more like 90 minutes. After 90 minutes, you're gonna get like a checkpoint model. And based on that, you can start prompting yourself. Okay, SKS man is like a, like a placeholder for your character. Maybe if I say writing uh, skateboard at the park yeah let's try that if you didn't specify the styles it's gonna look uh, realistic so it's putting it in a queue but I will show you what's uh, some of the results this is actually the one that's being generated on Astria the one that I created myself uh, it should be somewhere here yeah so or before if I'm specifying like a uh, old man I can get like I, I will get like random old man okay and uh, this one is the one that I generated locally some is cropped to square okay uh, I actually I get some really interesting one over here so this is uh, you can think of it this is like a uh, the multiverse of me <laughs> not that yeah this old man is this is really good because it has some certain like a styling I think this is using stable division 1.5 which is pretty close to Dali or no maybe kind of okay better but it's not perfect still I like all the variations that it's generating um, okay this is me as a maybe like a Indian superhero with leather jacket and stuff so it's looking really cool and that's me as a, as a ramen <laughs> ramen shop owner but the, this one is based on a single uh, prompt okay it's been doing this since last night I can get around 100 no actually I get only 17 overnight this one takes a while my prom is like this oil painting of SKS man or BS man eating random foods squid octopus happy on the street by Afandi I, I like to specify by Afandi for a little bit of styling Afandi is a famous oil painting in Indonesia I think he passed away in the 97 or 90s I, I forgot but it's, it's adding a little bit of styling so it's not it's not completely photographic so this guy is eating octopus on the street 
somehow it gives me also this <laughs> drink but the octopus okay this one it could be one of the del toro cabinet of curiosities if you have if you watch it on netflix at the moment this is the last episode okay because del toro is a uh, uh, show some episode stories very interesting however uh, yeah i have my own ideas about it so this is one maybe kind of the multiverse of that yeah he enjoys he seems to be he loves eating octopus lots of octopus every day maybe that's one of the story maybe from the future okay maybe if i direct it so what's actually happening here it's a i imagine myself going through different multiverse <laughs> and this one of course yeah it's myself as a sculpture somehow so this is what the ai can generate for you using your own selfie uh yeah i think this is one of your own assets because it's your own, your own face right this is stone sculpture, uh, stone sculpture wabi sabi i put wabi sabi i think just to add some imperfection i don't think if that's actually working create italian figure pose i was expecting my pose is kind of like a arnold schwarzenegger uh in the movie uh, terminator but i don't get that this one the war version of sks man this yeah you start to see some visuals imagery right start to see yourself as dwarf and you can save it oh the one you like this one with a lot of mushroom very cute very cute i look like the guy from new zealand hobbits this one this is me mixed with mani pakio the the boxer from filipino but uh, this this uh what this bracket means just me mixed with many pakio after 50 percent of processing <laughs> ready to battle in boxing suit because this is like uh, my multiverse yeah uh, you might see that often the face got repeated in the same photos it's really weird um so this is me as homer simpson simpson character as SKS man, this is how you do it. If you want to do Shrek, you put Shrek as SKS man, reading book on the sofa. So it's very basic. This is a basic uh, prom. It works pretty well uh, in this case. Uh, I don't know, maybe the AI kind of like my face, so it's it seems pretty easy to apply. It's turning me, it's turning my face a little bit more like a mix you know like a blend of different race but anyway it's homer my version of homer simpson this guy oh this is this is amazing this is when you actually start using styling norman walk norman rockwell is a famous one it's a lot of uh figure drawing painting I don't know this guy, but if you you can search on Google. Uh, yeah, this one is really cool, but unfortunately got truncated. But the styling sometimes can get really long. Norman Rockwell, Robert John Williams, what else? Uh, blah blah blah. But the context is hyper realistic painting portrait of BS or SKS man or BS man. So this guy, okay, this is the concept art for. Maybe RRR movie version of me. Some kind of Indian superheroes. Very cool. Hindi, Hindi superheroes. This guy, is, this is uh, this is really cool actually. I, this, a pirate, right? The pirate character. Handsome, <laughs> flowing red eyes. Rugged ship pirate captain. Yeah, rugged, that's the keyword get this this one's actually kind of like a like a kung fu superhero in the in some comic books actually tiger wong if we can search for that there's a lot of history i mean over time 
depending on your background you, you're gonna get okay this is one maybe unknown comic books not many of these online actually if this can be turned into AI style it's, it's gonna be really cool um, this one this one kind of reminds me of that the rest of them I don't go through everything this one might be interesting black and white muscular muscular SKS man yeah this gives some really interesting selfie photo of myself eating hamburger but the the muscle is amazing okay you need to reference a muscular guy to be able to draw this or just really good you need to be really good at drawing muscular man this one is a little bit crazy yeah this one this doesn't have context but it tries to generate something based on the prompt I think this is a miss this is missing a prom uh, this is me with Totoro me uh, Miyazaki Hayao Totoro I think it's it's like a like more like a puppet it's not a real Totoro maybe I need to specify real Totoro with fur and things like that to get the proper Totoro me as plushy Plushy, hyper realistic man. Yeah, I like the plushy. Yeah, this one, it's very good. Sometimes the AI even able to get rid of your your beard. Um, it's, I think is this me in a in a bookshop or oh oh Japanese classroom wearing students wear. <laughs> yeah, this is very. Japanese looking it's very like a professor like a student I was expecting the like a Japanese high, high school student but I I need to probably specify that SKS man wearing Japanese high school student suit or uniform standing at a school generate image so it's gonna take a while a few hours sometimes maybe wait one hour to get the result I think the the, the model the model creation itself takes only 30 minutes I, I checked it last uh, the other day but took another hour to generate some of this uh, rendering or oh, the rendering is limited to 512 by 512 in this case but it's really high quality version this is I think me try I'm trying to merge myself with the squid so just like this uh, it, with this creation so it's still running in the background and you can see this one takes how long around 10 minutes for generations yeah. so it takes quite a while but uh, I think this is uh, I, yeah like I said it's like my own multiverse I edit by AI so it's generating like this weird concept art photograph of myself in different situations eating a squid I never eat squid in my life not like live one not I mean eat the, I eat the fried octopus or calamari but not like a real life living squid I think in maybe in Korea you eat that with the soy sauce but yeah that's uh, this is I could make make up stories based on this right there some of them looks kind of yuck uh, but interesting nevertheless it even okay you want to see the real photos that I submitted yeah you might want to this this is the one that's being generated using AI this is my original photos it's me at the apple store with cherry blossom trees uh, cherry blossom trees this one with google street view it's weird all kind of selfies that's me with you know who yeah me in different multiverse i'm kind of lucky enough oh yeah that's
but this is my training that uh, okay it's not much I didn't give like full body pose but I, I have some hands as well and the AI, AI able to grab some of this pose maybe the AI is only replacing the background and then just make caricature but it's good enough I think it's good enough to make enough variations sometimes it's a uh, some looks kind of original and new of course real artists with the with enough reference like can actually create anything like really good ones but it's hard to find actually really hard to find maybe there's only a, a handful of them um, so with the AI you, you have this ability to generate like what you can imagine so that's my take on selfie and how you can use your own selfie to create multiverse of yourself um, yeah I, I just go, I like roll or keep rolling with the AI things until I know okay this is kind of the limitations and it's kind of like okay this is maybe it's a little bit too far try to create my own so like a AI model that I fine-tune maybe with even with my own like style of drawing or sketch i can make my own ai so i can draw anything basically based on any prompt or portrait that i created okay so hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye